Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing what I have been feeding my family this week. I am going to be sharing four really simple family meals. They've been tried and tested as always by my family and they have gone down really, really well. I'm going to be showing you one veggie meal, but the rest do include meat. But if you want to leave the meat out or swap any of the meats over, then it's really, really easy to do that. These meals are so versatile. And even for the veggie one, if you want to add some meat into that as well, then it's really easy to do. If you're watching this video and you're seeing me for the first time, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. I post a brand new foodie video every single Sunday morning on my channel at 7 a.m. UK time. So if you like these meals and want even more meal inspiration, then I would love for you to subscribe. Also over on my Instagram, I post loads of different foodie content, so I would love to have you over there as well. With all that said, I'm just gonna jump straight on into these meals. I hope you enjoy them and thanks so much watching. For dinner tonight we are having a butternut squash and crispy bacon risotto. So I have just cut up half a butternut squash. The butternut squash that I got was massive. So this is the other half. I'll keep this and I'll make a soup with that. So I've got diced up into little like kind of cubes that sort of size this butternut squash. I've got eight rashes of bacon which I'm going to cook in my air fryer. In here I've got one onion and a four garlic cloves because I feel like with the risotto you do need to add quite a lot of flavor because you put so much liquid in there. I feel like you really do need to add a lot of flavor so that it doesn't lose the nice flavors from all the different ingredients here. I have got 500 grams of um, risotto rice and then I've got a thousand mils of veggie stock here. This is two veggie stock cubes. Like I said, I do feel like you need to add quite a lot to a risotto so it doesn't lose its flavor. And then I've also got some thyme as well. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is just sauteing off my onions and my garlic in a wok. While those are sauteing, I'm going to add my bacon to my air fryer and cook it on 200 degrees centigrade for about eight minutes or until it's nice and crispy. While that's cooking, I will add my butternut squash to my wok and just fry that off for a couple of minutes as well before adding in my risotto rice. Again, I will just fry my risotto rice off for a couple of minutes until it becomes translucent. And then I will add in two heaped teaspoons of thyme. You also want to season this really well with some salt and pepper as well. It's at this point I will then add in my veggie stock. So like I said, I've got a thousand mils of veggie stock here and I always find I need to add in extra as well. So as my risotto rice starts to cook and absorb all those flavors and the water, I will just top it up with a little bit more when I feel like it needs it. So just keep an eye on it, keep mixing up your risotto. And once your bacon has crispened up and is nice and crispy, you can then just chop it up into little bits and add it into your risotto as well. I usually leave this to cook for about 20 minutes or so, and then it's just ready to dish up. If you want to, you can add a little dollop of creme fraiche to it as well for an extra kind of like creamy flavor, or you can just leave it as it is. For dinner tonight, we're going to be having a sort of cottage pie, but instead of having mash on top, I'm going to be doing little like layered potatoes on top. So I'm also going to be adding in a couple of extra kind of beanie bits to my cottage pie, and then I'll serve this with some peas on the side as well. So what I've got in here is I've got one onion and three cloves of garlic diced up, and then I've got some chopped tomatoes, these mixed taco beans, and they come in a little spicy tomato sauce. They are delicious and they add so much flavor to a meal. I cook with them all the time. I've also got a whole tin of sweet corn here. I've got 500 grams of beef mince. I've got some grated cheese, 100 mils of beef stock, and I've also got one of these red wine stock cubes as well. If you don't have these, you can just add in some red wine. Or if you don't have any red wine open that you can add in, you could add in some like Liam Perrins and some soy sauce instead to add a bit of depth to your um, beef mince. Then what I have done here is I have cut up five potatoes into kind of like thin-ish pieces. These are little like rounds that I have cut up. And like I said, instead of making mash for the top of my cottage pie, I'm going to be using this instead. So once I've cooked up my cottage pie, I'll then just lay these over the top and then I will just sprinkle the cheese all over the top of that. So what I'll start off by doing is just sauteing off my onions and garlic in a pan with some olive oil as well. Once those have sauteed for a few minutes, I'll then add in my beef mince and just brown that off. And I will also then add 
in my chopped tomatoes, my mixed beans, my sweet corn, my beef stock, as well as my red wine stock cubes and some salt and pepper as well. I'm not gonna cook this for too long because my potatoes are going onto the top, not cooked at all. I am going to be putting this into the oven for a good hour to make sure all my potatoes are cooked through really, really nicely. So once my beef mince has cooked enough, I will just transfer that to a oven proof dish and I will then start layering my potatoes over the top of those. Once my potatoes have layered, I will then just generously put on my grated cheese and then I'm gonna put this into the oven on 190 degrees centigrade for, like I said, one hour, so 60 minutes. You want to make sure that you do cook it long enough so your potatoes are nice and soft. After this has been in for an hour, you're then just ready to dish up and it's a really, really healthy meal because you've got your sweet corn and your beans in there and it's a cottage pie with a bit of a twist by having a different type of potato on the top. This dinner is going to become a smoked baked halloumi. It's so good and as you can see it's vegetarian as well. So what I have got here is one pack of halloumi that I've just sliced up into kind of like thin-ish slices as you would do if you were going to pan fry it. I've got four cloves of garlic. I have got different beans here so you can change this up each time. You can just do all of the same beans if you want to or you can do some um, like three different types of white beans and then I have got one tin of chopped tomatoes, some smoked paprika, oregano, salt and pepper and some olive oil. So what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm just going to drain all of my beans and then I'm going to add them into a oven proof dish. Once I've added those in I will also add in my chopped tomatoes, two tablespoons of paprika and one tablespoon of oregano. I will also season that really well with some salt and pepper and some olive oil and then I'll crush in my garlic too. I'm going to mix everything together really really well and then I'm going to pop this into the oven on 180 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. You want to make sure when it comes out everything is nice and piping hot. Once it's baked for 15 minutes you're then ready to just lay your halloumi over the top and then I put this back into the oven but under the grill and I just want to grill it until my halloumi has become nice and golden brown on the top so it's usually between 5 and 10 minutes so just keep your eye on it. Once your halloumi has gone nice and golden brown it's then ready to take out and dish up. So I like to drizzle a little bit more olive oil over the top of this and also sprinkle some fresh coriander over the top too. This dinner is going to become curried mince. This is one of the most simple dinners you can make. I have got bulgur wheat and quinoa mix here, but you can do this with rice if that's what you've got. I usually do serve it with rice, but I don't have any. And I thought it might be quite nice to do it with this mix instead. So to make this, I've got some beef mince, one onion, two garlic cloves. I've got some mild curry powder, and I've also got some salt and pepper as well. You can, if you want to add in some beef stock as well, but it really doesn't need it. This is literally all the ingredients that you need for this meal. So what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to finely dice up my onions and my garlic and I'm going to saute those off in a pan first of all. Once those have sauteed for a few minutes I'll then be adding in my beef mince. I'll break it up and I'll just brown that off along with my onions and garlic. Once that's brown, I'll add in some salt and pepper. I forgot to show you that I'm also going to be adding peas to this meal as well, so that you have your carbs, your protein, as well as some veg all in one dish. And then you want to be adding in three good tablespoons of your curry powder. So you can change this curry powder up. You can do a spicier one if you'd prefer, but as this is for our kids as well, they don't like it too spicy. So I'm just using the mild curry powder here instead. So because the mince I'm using is so lean, I'm actually also going to include 100 mils of water, but then I'm just going to let this all simmer away so most of the water can burn off, but it's just gonna add a little bit of kind of moisture to my mince mix. While that's simmering away, I'll be cooking up my bulk wheat and quinoa mix and then I will just serve them all together. I will put my bulgur wheat on the bottom of my bowl and then I'll just spoon my curried mince over the top of it and it is so delicious. You could serve this with a dollop of sour cream if you want but we really really like it with some chutney. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video and so I can make more just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!